Hello, thank you for attending today's webinar, Why You Should Consider Building Cloud-Based Telephony Applications. A few introductions before I begin. I have with me today Mark Bosworth and Martin Page, our UK Account Managers. They'll be happy to follow up with any questions you have following the webinar. So who is Aculab? I expect a number of you know Aculab as a manufacturer of E1, T1 cards or voice boards, and that's certainly true. Aculab developed telephony resources that can run on boards or a host server, processor, or from a cloud-based platform. Whatever your preference, Aculab presents a choice. And with over 30 years of experience and technology innovation, companies worldwide use our technology for a wide variety of solutions. Aculab also offers a support network that is as sophisticated as its products, with dedicated account management, professional services, training, product marketing and support teams working to understand your business and technology requirements. So let's talk about telephony applications. What is the main objective of a telephony service, system or solution? Well, it's there to make a call, receive a call and allow interactions between person to person or person to application. They should improve customer service, reduce cost and improve the efficiency of business workflows. To drill down a little deeper, uh, you'd expect them to be able to answer or place a call, that being voice or fax, to play prompts um, for selections or announcements, and that might be pre-recorded prompts or using technology such as text-to-speech, be able to detect digits for user input through DTMF detection, be able to transfer or connect calls together, add callers to a conference, start recordings and of course close down the call in particular if it's uh, been unsuccessful or the number is busy for, busy for example. So what do you typically need in order to develop a telephony application? So let's have a look at the legacy way. It's likely that you are using speech technologies of some description so you need to buy the licenses for this and the server. You need a telephony card or host-based software to provide the range of telephony resources previously described, possibly E1, T1 connectivity, and of course you need a server for the card. You then need SIP, PSTN connectivity and power, and you have to be concerned with the ongoing costs for supporting and maintaining your system. Finally, you need specialist developers who know C and are familiar with telecoms. All of this requires a big chunk of resources, a large capital investment, just to get started, and then also ongoing. A further consideration is the cost of expansion. You have to build out for peaks and manage the system accordingly. This can result in having to turn business away due to capacity limitations, or having to pay for underutilised resources. So, the new way. Enter cloud computing a perfect match for telephony. Just to summarise some of the main benefits of the cloud, uh, you have virtually unlimited resources, which provides you with uh, scalability. It's ideal for resource-hungry technologies um, and can be used without the need for expensive hardware, and text-to-speech would be a good example. It typically uses a model of paying for what you use, so you're, you're running on, a, on an OPEX um, payment system, and there's also minimal capital expenditure. To get started, to get developing, uh, you're not having to invest a, a large upfront uh, amount. So let's have a look at a cloud telephony deployment. Um, as you can see here, um, your application uh, re can reside in the cloud itself or it can be on-premise or on your customer's premise and really the server that you need for your application is, is really the only sort of equipment that you'll need to purchase in order to run an application. Everything else uh, is based in the cloud so you have all of the telephony resources provided by the telephony platform itself which may then also bring in um, particular technologies such as TTS or ASR um, you then are able to uh, store recordings or prompts that maybe that you've recorded uh, within the cloud. And also you have the added benefit of um, being able to connect via SIP to um, a number of uh, gateways for both inbound and outbound PSTN connection. In addition, uh, with re relation to uh, data, which of course is a, a very sensitive issue for a number of customers, 
uh, one point to highlight is data doesn't have to reside in the cloud. The data can continue to reside on the customer premise if they wish to, um, and the uh, application can still hook up and get the required details from that. Of course, there is also the option of deploying um, that data in the cloud as well. So I'm now going to play a two-minute video which provides a top-level overview of Aculab Cloud and runs through a uh, particular deployment scenario, um, an IVR system, uh, and then also summarises some key features and benefits. So how do we all fit together? Are we competing with our customers? Well, the short answer to that is no, but let me explain a little further. Cloud computing is often described as comprising of many different layers. Each of these layers represents a service level, replacing the role of the hardware and software that we have been installed on premises. At the bottom, at the core, is the infrastructure, often described as IAS. It's the physical infrastructure that includes servers, networks, data storage, processor storage, etc. And for Aculab, this is Amazon EC2. Next, we have Platform as a Service, a server system that enables specific applications to be written and deployed. This is where Aculab Cloud sits. You write your applications using our .NET or Python APIs. Then you have software as a service, a finished application that you can subscribe to and use as a service. And I guess Google Mail is probably well, a good example of that. There are then a number of other layers that run between these. One important one I wish to pull out is what I call um, toolkit as a service. And this is the use of software to aid or speed the development of an application. I'd like to highlight that there is definitely uh, a a distinct line between what Aculab provides and who we're targeting and that of our customers. And there's a great benefit to that. Our platform combines a number of elements essential to providing a telephony service. So we're providing the, the infrastructure, the telephony resources, the higher level APIs, documentation, sample code and international billing so that you don't have to concern, uh, be concerned about uh, putting all that together. All you simply need to do um, is focus on your application or focus on your toolkits uh, and selling on to your, your end customers. So now let's move on to some uh, typical scenarios. Um, the first one would be voice broadcasting, which is a, a good example of an outbound campaign. So here... Uh, Say one of your customers wishes to uh, launch a, a broadcast campaign. The application would go to the database to pick off all of the numbers that it needs to dial. 
Eclab Cloud would then be used to execute your application, making outbound calls and playing your customer's message. And this can be sent to thousands of uh, customers within minutes. Now we have one customer in particular um, that's using this uh, BLI messaging. They're actually using it for um, schools uh, and other large universities, education facilities. Um, and really what this is for is if there's any um, emergencies where they need to contact as many pupils, staff, family as possible um, if an incident has taken place in that school. So it's, it's critical that they can um, send out a message to as many people in, in as short a time as possible. I've got a good quote here for, from Andrew Mallett, the development manager. Um, he stated, our previous internal systems were limited in capacity, but with Aculab Cloud we were able to consistently handle a much higher workload from our clients. We also have a second customer, eClinical. Um, they focus on the medical um, sector. Um, and they've also developed an um, outbound uh, campaign application whereby once a patient, say, um, medical results have come through, a um, phone call will be made to the patient telling them uh, the results or telling them that they need to take further action. So, for example, maybe they need to make an appointment with a doctor or they need to go and pick up a prescription. Another uh, deployment scenario would be an inbound example, uh, such as an IVR platform. So here the customer makes an inbound call to customer service. Aculab Cloud picks this up and routes the call to the IVR application based on the number that's been dialed. Perhaps in this situation, the caller opts to speak to an agent. So the system at Cloud Cloud will make um, an a outbound call to uh, the, the available agent, and then the agent and the caller would be connected together. A good example of a, a customer that's using the system in this way is a company called Be Quick. They're actually quite a large um, billing organisation who supply a number of uh, small mobile operators, MVNOs. And they've built um, IVR platforms that allows a number of their customers um, to enable their customers, if you like, to dial into the service to um, activate their SIM cards or to check on their um, account balance or to actually make a payment. Um, it's also being used for the Lifeline um, campaign that is um, part in the US where certain um, people in the, within the population are in a, you know, they sort of can qualify for getting a um, discounted mobile phone and they also have a, a system where people can call up who are part of Lifeline so they can recertify themselves uh, so they can still qualify for, for that scheme. A nice quote here from David Dragon, who was the senior architect on this. Uh, Aculab's vast experience in telecoms, along with an industry-leading cloud architecture, gave us confidence to choose Aculab as our next generation IVR partner. My CTO loves it. An interesting maybe th point to bring out here is that they were using um, another uh, cloud-based platform, um, but the rates were far higher, um, so we, we were much more cost effective and in terms of how we um, scale and the flexibility uh, we offered again um, it was uh, ticking all the right boxes and so Be Quick uh, decided to come with us. Finally we have um, a conferencing scenario um, so here again a caller will dial in to the conference bridge telephone number um, uh, Aculab Cloud will route it to the correct uh, conferencing application um, based on the number that was dialed. Um, the system will then prompt the caller to enter the um, conference bridge details, maybe their passcode, maybe uh, record their, ask them to record their name. Um, and then when it's uh, time and everyone's uh, ready and available and the chairman has entered his PIN, then all of the um, parties in the, the conference are then placed into um, the call. And we've actually got a, a new customer that's just recently signed up um, to Aculab Cloud and is using um, the system for a, a, um, an audio conferencing. The company's uh, Udazzle. It's actually um, 
part of a, a co collaboration suite that they're offering so that people can come along, they can um, share documents easily, they can do screen sharing and they can um, meet online uh, and also have this audio conferencing facility. Um, they came to us um, because their previous platform provider just couldn't handle large conferences. They had a, a ceiling of only 40 people per conference. Um, in addition, um, they wanted to have um, access to the, the SIP entry point so that um, they could, um, where possible, encourage people to use their web-based browser phone so that they could uh, keep that audio stream free for something else and it was also going to reduce um, PSDN costs. Um, and in, in addition, we had um, the global reach in terms of PSDN numbers. Um, their previous supplier just couldn't provide the range of numbers that we do um, and we've allowed UDAZA to expand into Australia, Canada and a number of other regions within, the, uh, within Europe. So to conclude, um, traditional telephony platforms have served us well. Um, however, there is a, a high cost associated with them. Um, you have to make a large capital expenditure up front uh, just to get started in, uh, in terms of you know, writing your application um, and testing. There is a very long development cycle. You need very, very specialist um, skills, C programmers, people with telephony experience. And once you are um, up and running, it's, you know, there is a further cost to manage that. With the cloud place platform, um, you integrate the telephony resources you need without really having to buy anything. You need the server on which your application runs, but that's just about it. Everything else um, is, is cloud-based. Uh, it means that you can uh, set yourself up without any um, large upfront capex. You're simply you know, signing up for a free account. Um, you can start developing, and it's only when really you're getting to a volume testing phase or production uh, that you then sort of start uh, loading up uh, credit onto your account. And even then, you're just paying for what you use um, as you use the service. In addition, we have added benefits, um, such as being able to scale on demand, so there's no more provisioning of, of peaks. Um, you're simply uh, able to use and scale as, as needed. It's good value for money. You don't have to understand how telephony works and it's very easy to uh, not only write the applications but get, but get started. Um, and we certainly would encourage you to sign up for a free developer account. Um, we have our um, AtCloud Cloud support team there ready to answer questions you may have um, via email. Um, and getting an account and uh, having a play is probably the best way for you to, to get started and to really understand what AtCloud Cloud can do for you and how it could fit into your future strategy. Finally, I just want to um, show you some uh, good pages to look at on both the AtClub website. Um, firstly, if you go to atclub.com, you'll see that there's a, a, a section de dedicated to cloud telephony. Here you'll find some uh, good overviews, data sheets. You'll also find um, videos on um, how it works. Um, and just sort of hi highlighting the main features and benefits. But you'll also find uh, a wealth of other information such as case studies, deployment notes, um, data sheets. There's also a useful link here um, to get you through to the actual AtCloud Cloud website. On the AtCloud Cloud website, again, you'll find a wealth of information. You can find out all of the uh, countries on which you can purchase inbound telephony numbers. You'll also be able to find um, the API documents, sample code, uh, further information on uh, how it works and how our system is tuned for particular types of application. And perhaps most importantly, you'll also find uh, the link in which you can sign up for a developer account so that you can uh, get things going and have a play. If you have any further questions, um, Mark and Martin will certainly be uh, ready to answer your questions and we'll be following up with you in the next few days. Um, by all means, however, please also email myself and I'll try and get back to you um, as soon as possible to, to help with your questions. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Goodbye.